Okay, so let's just see this in action. So if I log out here, you would be um, greeted with the login page. So if I type in um, some junk and hit login, and it will give me this error, incorrect username or password. So in other words, it hides both whether um, you've guessed the correct username or password, and it tells you that you have three attempts remaining. Okay, so now let us go back in and just type in the correct username but incorrect password. Now it tells me that you've used an incorrect username or password, and it still now is removing two attempts. So let's just type in the right one this time so I don't get locked out. <laughs> there we go. So that's one thing in order to protect our uh, admin panel. The last thing we should probably do is uh, just in case something did happen to our system, we probably want to keep a backup of everything, all the data on our site. And again, there are WordPress plugins that will allow us to back up our stuff automatically. And so we do that by again going back into the um, plugins, add new. And then the name of the plugin is WordPress DB for database backup. And it's right here. That's the first one we want. WordPress uh, database backup. And just hit install. Again, read through the description. It's been tested for our current version, so you can just install. Oops, did I hit install? There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we have installed it, and now we can activate the plugin. Now, activating this plugin will add an additional tool under your uh, tool tab, something called Backup. So let's click on it to see what it lets us do. So uh, this, uh, well, let's just explain how store data first. Um, all the information that is stored on your um, WordPress site, such as your posts, your pages, everything essentially, is kept inside tables within this database. And so what the, this plugin does is allow you to back up these uh, tables within the database, and it tells you that these are the core tables to be backed up. And then you could choose to include uh, or exclude things like spam or post revisions or like comments if you want to reduce the size of your down your size of your backup. And then there's backup options. So if this is for manual backups, you can choose to save it on your server, which is um, placed into this folder within your WP content area. Or you could choose to download my computer, your computer, or you could email it to yourself. And then my favorite is the scheduled backups. With this, you could have it automatically take backups. Um, um, well, once hourly, twice daily, once daily, or once weekly. For like small sites like mine, something like once a week is perfectly fine. And then it would email this backup to your email address. Okay. And then in terms of backup options, let me just demonstrate how this works. So if I'm going to download on my computer, I'm going to hit backup now. So as it's backing up, it's going to tell you not to close this browser or to reload this page or to click the stop or back button in your browser when you're doing backups, okay? And then um, once it's finished, it would give you this file in which you can save it. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna, well, I'm just gonna not save it now because I don't really need a backup. <laughs> All right, so this is the backup plugins. And there are a ton more back, um, not just backup, but a ton of uh, WordPress plugins that people have created. And so actually I'm gonna be doing a whole 
tutorial strictly on plugins, and um, just, so just stay tuned for that. Okay, so this is the end of our security tutorial. So if you want more tips on how to secure your um, WordPress admin area, you can read this article here. 13 Vital Tips and Hacks to Protect Your WordPress Admin Area. It's in uh, WP Beginner. And um, I actually provided a link in the resource section for you. See you!